I'm here with Professor Sir Robert Leckler, Emeritus Senior Vice President Health at King's College London and President of the Academy of Medical Sciences to talk about the King's Lecture Series 2020. Sir Robert, you're giving the last of your three lectures on Thursday the 15th of October at 6pm, the title of which is Looking Ahead, More of the Same Will Not Suffice. That's a pretty bold statement. Can you talk us through what you mean by that? Absolutely. So what I will address is a very acute challenge that we're facing uh, in that we have two emerging realities that I think at face value are incompatible. On the one hand, as I described in my second lecture, we're enjoying a wave of discovery in biomedical research that is transforming already a number of diseases in terms of the treatments we can offer and the diagnostic modalities we have and has the potential to go a great deal further. The difficulty with that or the challenge that presents is that very often the implementation of these discoveries has a hefty price tag. The other emerging reality is very familiar, I'm sure, to this audience, and that is that the costs of our health and care system are inexorably rising, and that shows no sign of plateauing off. The drug bill of the NHS is rising, and the demands also are rising because the population is aging, and with aging comes multimorbidity. So it's difficult to see how a health and care system that is bordering on the boundaries of sustainability can afford to incorporate these expensive discoveries. And that's the challenge that I hope to address. And of course, um, this talk is one in a series of three and it was planned well before COVID struck. Um, but let's address where we are now. Has COVID magnified any of these challenges? So I think COVID has in some ways magnified and in some ways helped to point towards a solution. So it's magnified in the sense that uh, it has displaced for six months probably, a lot of routine clinical care because hospitals became COVID hospitals. That didn't mean people stopped getting cancer, heart disease and diabetes. So there's a backlog issue as we go into winter, the NHS struggling to deal with that backlog, struggling to deal with normal winter pressures, plus an uptick, unfortunately, in COVID cases that we're seeing now increased hospital admissions. A second way I think that's exaggerated the problem is that COVID, if it does one thing, it exaggerates health inequalities. And so we need to do everything we can to mitigate that exaggeration of inequality. The positive, however, is that it, of course, has caused an outbreak of online consultation. And that is one of the parts of the solution that I will propose in the third lecture, because I think it's, it's undoubtedly a more productive way to conduct some of our clinical care. And you've got um, an illustrious panel joining you after your talk um, for discussion. Tell us, tell us who they are. Yeah, well, I'm delighted that uh, these four colleagues are able to join me. Um, they are Chris Whitty, very familiar, the Chief Medical Officer, right in the spotlight at the moment. Uh, Jennifer Dixon, who's head of the Health Foundation, a uh, very thoughtful individual around sustainability of healthcare. Uh, Richard Douglas, currently the Chair of our Integrated Care System locally and also previous finance director of the NHS, and Sir Hugh Taylor, the joint chair of Guy's and St Thomas's and King's College Hospital. And what are you hoping will emerge from the discussion? My hope is that um, the suite of proposals that I'm going to suggest may help to square the circle will be challenged, will be elaborated on, will be supplemented, will be refined so that we can begin to move to a collective view as to how we can ensure that the UK is at the forefront of innovation, while at the same time has a sustainable health and care system. It sounds like it's going to be a fascinating evening, and I know that audience members are going to be able also to ask um, questions and contribute to the debate. If anybody does want to join, um, and I wholeheartedly encourage everyone watching this to join, you can join at kcl.ac.uk forward slash events forward slash looking ahead. Thanks for telling us about it, Sir Robert. I'm looking forward to being there in the audience myself. Thank you very much.